Hello everyone, in this video we're going to get started with Vertica and to get started we're going to install Vertica on our machine using a docker image just for simplicity then we're going to connect to our docker instance using a database tool called DB Visualizer and we just want to make sure that we get our setup right so the first thing we need to do is we need to go and find our Docker uh, image for Vertica. So if you just Google uh, Vertica Docker download, this is the one that we're going to use here. So data platform forward slash Docker Vertica. So if you just click on that link, you'll go and it'll bring you to Docker Hub. And you can read down through the steps that we're going to go through here. So the first thing you want to do is to Docker pull this image and then once you've pulled the image onto your local machine then we're going to actually run it. So the first thing you want to do is copy this and once you've copied this you want to go and open up your terminal. I'm on Mac so rather than using the default terminal I use iTerminal but look at you can use whatever you want if you're on Mac or Linux or Windows it doesn't matter once you have Docker installed and just to make sure that you have Docker installed you can do Docker version. So when you do this you can see that I'm running Docker version uh, 20.10.8 so that's fine so now the next thing I need to do is just paste in my docker pull command. Now I don't need to do this command because I actually have Docker already on I, I have Docker on my machine but I also have the Docker Vertica image on my machine. But I want you to put in that command, hit enter, and it might take a few minutes just to download that image. And then once you've done that, go to your Docker images to see and make sure that it's there. So to do that, just put in Docker images and hit enter. And you'll see I have a few different uh, images here for, for Docker, but the one that we're looking for is this one data platform docker vertica don't worry if you don't have the rest of these you probably won't uh, these are just other things i've done in the past or I'm, I'm currently working on but this is the one you want here so once you've got that the next step will be to actually run that image and to do that we'll go back to docker and um, docker hub where we where we got our pull command and if we read down through this a little bit you can see that we can build docker using a couple of different uh, commands so we can use this first one here and this is the one that we're going to use so this is if you want to run your vertica database without a persistent uh, store so if you don't want to like store the information somewhere and um, if you do want to store that information somewhere you'd use this second command down here and you'd specify where exactly you want to store that data but for now this is just simply setting it up so we don't care about storing the data that we're going to hold within it so when we take down uh, or when we shut down our docker container our data will also be deleted whatever data we have in the vertica database so I'm going to just copy this command and I'm going to go back to my terminal and I'm going to paste it in here and once I've pasted it in there so now you can see after running that command our vertica is now running as you can see it says this uh, here so the next thing we want to do would be to maybe open up a new terminal just to make sure that it is indeed uh, running as a docker image but as I said it says that it's running here so there shouldn't be any issues. I'm going to open up a new terminal just by hitting new window and default and here I can just type in docker ps so docker ps will give me a list of all the current running containers that I have so you can see that I've got some containers uh, down here but my most recent one is this data platform docker vertica so it's up about a minute it says so that's that's the exact one that we're just after spinning up there on port 5433 so that's fine i can close that down now this one here that 
is currently running, it's important that we don't close uh, this down or we don't hit Control C or whatever, because if we do that, it'll actually stop the Docker container from running. Now we could run it in daemon mode, so that would mean putting a hyphen D in our docker run command, but we haven't done that, so we need to keep this window open. So what we will do now is we will go back to Google Chrome and we need to have some sort of uh, database software that we can go and connect to our instance of Vertica and we can see what's inside it. So you can use whatever one you want. There's many database uh, tools out there, many free ones, but the one I use, uh, especially when I'm using Vertica, would be DB Visualizer. So again, just go on Google, DB Visualizer, go in here and then go to download and download for whatever version you have. So I'm on the Mac, so it's prompting me to download the Mac version. Um, if you're on Windows or Linux, the, the downloads um, are here as well, so it'll work on any platform. Now, I already have a DB Visualizer installed, so it might take you just a couple of minutes to download it and just some basic setup steps uh, to follow through, but once you've got it up and running, then you want to go and connect to the database that we have just spun up using Docker. So just hit this button here, Start Connection Wizard, and it'll bring up a page like this. And this is this is just going to be a name that you're going to see. It's a, as it says here, it's just an alias. So you could put anything here, right? You could just call it G if you wanted. But to make a little bit more sense, we're just going to maybe call it uh, local uh, vertica db maybe so once you've selected whatever name you want just hit next and then here you have to select uh, what driver you want so for example if you were you know using mysql or another type of database like oracle or postgres you would select that but we're not using any of those today we're using vertica so just select Vertica and hit next. Now this step here, this is the port that we started our Vertica on. So by default, it will be 5433. That's the default port. Now the information we need to fill in is the database name and the username and the password. So there's those three fields. Now, by default, our Docker image does not use a password uh, for the database, so that can be left blank. But we do need a database name and a user ID. And where you'll find this will be if you go back to your Docker Hub image for Vertica. If you scroll down here a little bit, it says the connection parameters and what they are. So you've got Docker as the default database name. You've got the default user is DB admin, short for database admin, and the default password is no password, so you just leave that blank. So we go back here and we type in Docker here for our database name, and for our user, it will be DB admin. And then after that is complete, you go and hit finish and that will go and connect to the server. So as you can see, this is the one that we've created. We've called it local Vertica DB. Now, if we have a look inside, you can see it's it's got the tick, so it means it's been connected. But if you go inside your schemas, you can see you've got a, a public one um, and a couple of others. But if you go inside your public schema and you go in and look at tables or you look at your projections, or views or anything like that, you'll not find any. Um, and you'll not find any tables or anything because there hasn't been any created yet. And that's what we're going to look at in the next video. We're going to create a schema, we're going to create a table, and we're going to insert some data into that table and do some queries to fetch that data back. I hope you've gained something from the video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.